In this video, I play Terraria using Abigail only, but here's the twist. Every time I damage an enemy, I gain experience that goes towards leveling Abigail. With each level, increases the overall damage, attack speed, and movement speed. Just how strong will Abigail become at the end of this? Stay tuned to find out. Here we go guys, let's get started. So Abigail can only spawn on grass, but with one condition. There must be a nearby tombstone, and obviously for these tombstones to appear, I'm gonna have to die. So my plan is to either get killed by monsters, which in this case would be slimes, since it is still daytime, or to find some rope, build it very high up, and then jump off of it to instantly die. I'm leaning towards the second option because I can mass create tombstones, and with more tombstones placed down, the more likely Abigail's flower will spawn. So, let's go find some rope inside pots and chests. Oh, there's some rope in here. Perfect. Okay, this should be high enough. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Now, I'm just going to do this until I get about 6 to 7 tombstones. As long as it doesn't reach to the point where it becomes a graveyard. Because I don't want monsters spawning. There we go, that should be enough. Okay, never mind, 6 is apparently the max. If I put down 7, it then becomes a graveyard biome, which I don't want. Now, while I wait for Abigail's flower to appear, I'm just going to go around the world to find some accessories, and probably go down some caves to mine some ores. Oh, wait a minute. This cave just led me to an underground pyramid. Oh my god, how lucky was that? Okay, please. I'm hoping for the sandstorm in a bottle. Yes, let's go. That's just what I wanted. Well, either that or the flying carpet. As long as it wasn't the pharaoh set. Okay, a bunch of chests down here. Ooh, gravitation potion. I'll take that. That means I can get some better accessories later on. Found my first life crystal. And another chest. The suspicious looking eye. So I can fight the Eye of Cthulhu whenever I'm ready. Ooh, Anklet of the Wind. And I do have the Aglet that I found earlier. So I can make lightning boots later on as well. Cloud in a bottle. Beautiful. Band of Regeneration. Let's try to find some Hermes boots before I head back though. Oh, there we go. Dune Rider boots. I think I'm all good to head back home now and see if Abigail's flower has spawned. There it is. Right there. Okay, before I break that though, I'm going to clear out my inventory because it's completely full. And let's just pray that the Abigail's flower has a really good modifier on it. Okay, inventory is all cleaned out. Please have a really good modifier. Three, two, one. No way. I will take that. That is really good. 17% more damage. I was not expecting that. Holy. Well, I can start leveling up this summon now. And with each hit, gains 5 experience points. Now, I did mine a whole bunch of ores. So, let's go ahead and make the gold pickaxe to speed up mining. There we go. And I do have a bunch of tungsten so i'm gonna make the full tungsten armor set if that's possible oh yeah there we go 20 defense well i do have the bass statue but without it 15 that's still pretty decent now to make abigail a bit stronger there is a armor piece that i can get which is found in the snowbound which is the flinx fur coat so to make this, I need 10 silk, 8 flinx fur, and 8 gold bars. And this is a very good piece of armor to get right away because it does increase my max number of minions by 1. And also gives a nice little boost to our summon damage as well. I'll also be collecting some fallen stars, just in case if I do need to reposition my summon. Okay, after killing these frozen zombies, Abigail should be at level 1. There we go. So it gained one summon damage and I think it reduced the mana cost by one as well. Okay, I found some rubies. So I will be summoning the King Slime later on. 
since it's a really good source of experience. Got enough topaz to make a topaz hook. I just need two more flinks first, so hopefully this one can drop too. There we go. Okay, I have enough now. Let's go back home. First, I'm going to craft the sawmill. Then the loom. So, 10 silk. And then 8 gold bars. Okay, now I can craft the flinks for coats. I do lose out on a lot of defense, but that's okay. So Abigail is at level 3 now. That's 1. And that's 2. So it looks like 2 is the max for now. Let's go see how much damage she does now. Oh! That is a huge difference. Oh my god. 20 damage per hit. Now, I really don't want to make the Topaz hook because it's the absolute worst. So hopefully within the 109 slush blocks, I can get three more emeralds. If not, then I'll probably just go find some more slush. Or I can mine some desert fossils instead. Yep, doesn't seem like I got any, so let's go to the desert. Oh my god, never mind. Okay. Well, I just mined 628 desert fossils for nothing. So I just found the remaining three emeralds. Before returning back up onto the surface, I might as well find the remaining life crystals needed to get max health. Because I'm at 300 right now, so I only need five more. One more to go. And that is the last life crystal for max health. Now I can finally make the emerald hook. It's nearing nighttime and I do have max health now along with some pretty good accessories. So I will be taking on the Eye of Cthulhu first and after that I'll be summoning some king slimes. I'm also going to make a few NPC houses as well. Nighttime's finally here. So let's begin. Three, two, one. I can already tell that's going to be very slow because Abigail is barely keeping up with the boss's movement speed. Okay, finally second phase. It's going to get even slower now because the Eye of Cthulhu can now dash. Almost done here. Just under 200 health. There we go. That took half of the night. Oh my god. Okay, next up is the King Slime. Let's begin. Now this boss should be a lot faster. Fifty percent more health. No! I didn't want that to happen. I wanted Abigail to attack as much as possible for as much experience. That's okay though. I do have enough gel to make two more slime crowns. But I did get the slimy saddle. Traveling merchant has arrived. What are you selling? DPS meter? Yes, let's go. Okay, I have to get my gold out from my chest because I don't have a piggy bank just yet. Okay, I can keep track of my damage now. Second King Slime defeated. Alright, that's all done. So after defeating one Eye of Cthulhu and three King Slimes, Abigail is now at level 7. The next boss that I'll be taking on is the Eater of Worlds. And that boss is going to give the most experience out of the rest. So I'm very excited to see what level Abigail becomes afterwards. Arena is all done. Let's go break some shadow orbs now. Alright, here we go. Run, run, run. Back to the arena. Oh yeah. 250 damage per second. Because Abigail can do AoE damage. 
All I gotta worry about is, of course, dodging. Well, I'm not doing a very good job of that right now. Oh, I do have my King Slime Mount. Forgot about that. Okay, I'm taking so much damage. This is not good. Oh, I'm dead here. Run! Get the hearts! No! Yeah, I can't really control where Abigail attacks, so... The Eater Worlds just split like crazy. Was I able to kill enough, though, for the materials needed to craft the Nightmare Pickaxe? Nope. I don't think so. I only got two Shadow Scale from that. I think I'm gonna have to clear out a bigger area for the arena. Just so it helps with dodging a lot better. Okay, that should be a lot better. Way more space. And this time I do have potions as well. So I should be able to defeat it. Round two, here we go. Well, it's going a lot better right at the start. Oh god. Get me out. 5,000 more health. Let's pick up all these hearts. Okay, there's a lot of them now. They're all split, so I have to be really careful. One more hit should do it. There we go. Yeah, that was so much better. Now that the Eater of Worlds has been defeated, Abigail is at, oh, level 10. And there are slime falling from the sky, so might as well fight the King Slime one more time. So I just realized since Abigail is at a higher level now, the more I summon her, the more damage she does, of course. But the flower on top of her head does not change. The only time that it'll change is when I equip armor or accessories that increase minion slots. Because I remember that she dealt around 20 damage even with the same flower on her, but now she deals around 35. It's more apparent when she hits the non-blue slimes, because I do have the blue slime banner. So right here, the green slime. Attack, 31, 37, yeah. Alright, that's taken care of. So I will just be making the Nightmare Pickaxe and not the full Shadow Armor set because my next plan is to go fight the Queen Bee and get some bee armor. However, I will make the Shadow Helmet and Shadow Greaves. The reason why I'm making the bee armor is because the headgear and breastplate both give an additional minion slot. So that's two in total. And it does increase the summon damage by a whole lot more too. Welp, I just found the perfect spot to fight the Queen Bee in. Because there's so much room here and the beehive is literally right here. The arena is all complete. Let's go summon the Queen Bee. 3, 2, 1. Get up, get up, get up. Okay, we're good. Okay, 50% more health. I just need the Queen Bee to stay as still as possible. Because that's when I can really do some damage. Almost done here. 300 more health. This bee just keeps dashing so many times. Come on. Enough. Oh my god. There we go. So in total, I need 30 bee wax. So I think I'm going to have to fight the queen bee one more time. Let's see. Yeah, only got 21. But I guess I'll make the headgear and greaves first with the 21 bee wax. Just so I can get another minion slot. Okay, bee headgear and bee greaves. Now, Abigail's flower should change. Yep, there we go. And she now has 22 summon damage. Okay, let's do this again. 
Oh my god. Wait, hold up. Abigail deals 50, what? 50 damage? And she attacks more frequently as well. Oh yeah, just stay still. Yep, just like that. Oh my god. Yeah, she's able to keep up with the Queen Bee's movement speed now. Okay, all well done. And now, I should have enough. There we go, 30 bee wax. I can now complete the bee armor set. 31 defense, and our set bonus increases summon damage by 10%. So that brings the summon damage to 23 from 22. Hey, it's still one damage difference. All damage counts. On to Skeltron now. Aruna is finished. Let's talk to the old man to summon the boss. Let's make Abigail aim for the hands first. Both hands are almost dead. Okay, that's one. And that's two. Just the head now. Oh, that's big damage from the Fallen Star. And we're done. Now that I have access into the dungeon, there are only two main things I'm looking for. One is, of course, the Cobalt Shield, because I absolutely hate knockback. And two is the Bewitching Table, which gives an additional minion slot. Oh, there is the Bewitching Table. And now I can make Abigail even stronger. So right now she deals about, you know, 50 damage. Now she's on to the next tier. Let's see. Oh! 84 damage. Okay, okay. Around 80 damage. And there's the Cobalt Shield. Okay, got everything that I need now. The Witch Doctor also spawned from earlier, which means I can purchase the Pygmy Necklace, which gives another minion slot. So Abigail should now be able to reach the max tier of this color. Yep, there we go. Now before I take on the Wall of Flesh, I do want to combine some of my accessories together. So I'm going to go to the right side of the world and kill some Goblin Scouts for their Tattered Cloths. I do have four already, so I just need six more. And then I can craft the Goblin Battle Standard to summon the Goblin Army manually. Okay, maybe not the right side because it's corrupted. Let's also check out Abigail's damage now that she's at this tier. Oh my god, that's over a hundred damage. Okay, just need one more tattered cloth. And there's the last one. Time to summon the goblin army. Let's also keep track of our level. So it's at level 12 at 51%. And we'll see how much it'll improve after the event. Okay, Goblin Army has been defeated. So from level 12 to level 13. Now it's time to search for the Goblin Tinkerer. And there's the Goblin Tinkerer. So let's purchase Rocket Boots and the Workshop, of course. Now the question is, do I want to reforge Abigail? Would it be better to get Mythical instead? We'll check out how much it costs to reforge first. Hmm, okay. Two gold and 64 silver. I don't think I will. That's pretty expensive and I don't have a lot right now, but maybe later. Let's go up to some Sky Islands first and grab some more accessories before I combine them. Got the shiny red balloon. And the lucky horseshoe. Let's first make lightning boots. And then the sandstorm in a balloon. And with the Lucky Horseshoe, I can turn it into the Yellow Horseshoe Balloon. Alright, got some crazy mobility now. 
So now I'm ready to take on the wall of flash. Okay, made it to hell. I'm gonna mine some health stone first so I can make the molten pickaxe for later on. Okay, 121 health stone should be more than enough. Now to mine some obsidian. And then I can make the molten pickaxe. Okay, now I'm ready to take on the wall of flesh. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, one. Let's make sure my Abigail targets the eye. Yeah, this should be pretty easy. A constant 300 damage. I just need to make sure I stay close enough for her to actually attack the boss. But the hungries are kind of hard. Yeah, I should probably clear out some of the hungries then. 3,000 more health. And your Pokemon. Oh, okay. That freaked me out a little bit. All I'm looking for from this treasure bag is the Summoner's Emblem. Will I get it? Let's find out. Unfortunately not. But that's okay. I can always turn it into the Destroyer Emblem later on. Now that I'm in hard mode, it's time to get my hands on another set of armor. And most of you guys can already guess it. It is the spider armor. It's very easy to make. All I need is just one material, which is the spider fangs. And each piece of armor gives an additional minion slot. Oh, what the? Wait. When did Abigail get so strong? That's 200 damage per hit. Oh, okay. Guys, I did some research and as soon as I hit hard mode, Abigail's damage basically increases by double the amount. That's why she was dealing over 200 damage. I was like, there's no way because Abigail did not level up during the wall of flesh fight. And I didn't equip any accessories or armor that changes the damage. Okay, that should be plenty of spider fangs. 77. Now I can make the full spider armor. So from 27 summon damage... 28. Okay, that's plus one. And the set bonus increases summon damage by 12%. But now I can increase Abigail's strength even further. There we go. How much damage will she do? Let's find out. Oh my god. Nearly 300. Let's go up to a sky island now to get myself some souls of flight to make a pair of wings. Oh my god, that was 2,000 damage to that wyvern. Just imagine how much damage I'll be able to do against the destroyer. Okay, that's enough souls of flight. Just need a few more feathers. Okay, that's enough feathers. And that is enough souls of night. Now, in order for me to make the demon wings, I'm gonna have to make either the Orichalcum Anvil or the Mithra Anvil. So, let's go to the Corruption and break some Demon Altars to spawn in the Hard Mode Ores. So we've got... Palladium. Mithril. Okay, let's go mine some Mithril. That's enough Palladium. And that's enough Mithril. Mithril Anvil made. And now, I can make Demon Wings. I'm all set to take on the mechanical bosses now, so let's wait until nighttime. It is 7 p.m., which means it's officially nighttime. So the first mechanical boss that I'll be facing against is, of course, the destroyer. Let's begin. Let's try to go up to the clumped up part. Come on. There we go. That was 4,000 damage per second. Ooh. Wait, oh my god, it's less than 50% health already? Wait, that was so fast. I didn't even realize. Almost done here. Less than 10,000 health now. And you're done. Oh my god. So after that fight, 
Abigail is now at... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Level 17. Let's see how much damage she does now. 334. Oh. I was 372. Close to 400. Okay, let's begin the twins fight now. Okay, constant 1,000 damage per second. Spasmatasm is now at second phase. Okay, that's one down. Second phase for the Retinazer. And there we go. Twins have been defeated. So that's another level gained. And lastly, Skeletron Prime. For this, I'll be destroying all four arms first to maximize the experience gained. Okay, the laser is down already. Prime Saw has been destroyed. As well as the Prime Vice. Just the cannon now. Okay. Let's focus on the head. Okay. All three mechanical bosses have been defeated. So now Abigail is at level 19. Now let's make the pickaxe axe and head towards the jungle to find the Pantera Bulb. Ooh, legendary. Nice. Oh, there's a Plantera Bulb. So I will be making the arena around here then. Okay, the arena is all complete. Hopefully this is big enough. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, just gotta fly around in circles to make sure the pedals won't hurt me. Solid 1,000 damage per second as well. Okay, second phase. Ten thousand more health. Dodge that. Yep. Oh god. Okay, get up. Come on. And you're finished. Now here is the most important part. I'm really hoping for the pygmy staff inside this treasure bag because once I have that, the witch doctor is allowed to sell the full tiki armor set. Please, 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 please. Yes, let's go. Okay, let's go get that armor set and then it'll be time for golem. Oh my God, this is so expensive. 75 gold for each piece. Okay, looks like I'll have to sell some things. Okay, is this enough? Tiki mask, shirt. Oh, I'm missing about 30 more pieces of gold. I guess I'm just gonna go kill some monsters for the remaining gold. Okay, finally got enough gold. Let's buy the tiki pants. So equipping this armor doesn't really change the summon damage for Abigail. But now, Abigail can become the next tier. Let's go check out her damage. Oh my god, that is well over 400 now. Let's go take our new and improved Abigail against Golem. Okay, this arena is pretty spacious. Let's clear out all of the traps first. And a one level platform should be enough. Let's get this started. Three, two, one. Arms first. Jesus. Over 2,000 damage per second. One fist is down. That's two. Just the head now. And finally, the body. The 
There we go. Golem has been defeated. Now I will use up the remaining power cells so I can gain as many levels as possible. One more power cell to go. Okay, everything's done. Oh, and there's the Eye of the Golem, so I can make the Destroyer Emblem. There we go. Wait, I just realized. The increased critical strike chance does not affect minions. Oh my god, I should have just kept it as the Avengers Emblem. Well, I just lost out on 2% more damage. Okay, but let's check the level on Abigail now, after all of those golems. At level 24. I think a really good way to gain even more levels is to summon the Solar Eclipse, because the spawn rate during that event is crazy. So whenever daytime arrives, I'm going to go do that. Ooh, Mothra on wings, I'll take that. Okay, the Solar Eclipse has finally ended. So from the beginning of the event, Abigail was at level 24. Let's check it now. Oh my, that... Abigail gained a whole six levels. That is crazy. Oh! Over 600 damage? That's almost 700. I think it'll be possible to get her to be able to deal a thousand damage later on. Now I did say I was going to reforge Abigail's flower later on when I had more money. Well, I have seven platinum now, so now's the time. Let's see if I can get mythical on it. And see if that's any better than godly. Yeah, I think it is. It still has 17% damage, 5% critical strike chance, and 15% knockback. But now it has plus 11% speed and negative 10% mana cost. Now it's time to get my hands on the very last armor set before Moonlord, which is of course the spooky wood armor. I am going to wait until it's the next night because I want as much time as possible to collect as many spooky wood as possible. Okay, it's finally nighttime again. So let's begin the pumpkin moon. Oh, and also during this event, I am able to get my hands on the necromantic scroll, which gives an additional minion slot. Oh, is that it? Give me that, give me that. No! It's right there. There we go. Okay, the pumpkin moon has finally ended. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I collected enough spooky wood. I'm pretty sure I need about 750 in order to make the full set. So it looks like I'm gonna have to summon the pumpkin moon again. But in the meantime, I will be making another NPC house in the jungle this time. And I'm gonna move the witch doctor into it so that he can sell the Hercules beetle. Okay, he should have moved in by now. Yep, there he is. Let's buy the Hercules Beetle, which increases summon damage by 15% and increases knockback. And then with the Necromantic Scroll, I can combine it with the Beetle to make the Papyrus Scarab. Now Abigail should be a lot stronger. Alright, it's finally the next night. Let's do the Pumpkin Moon one more time. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Abigail is so much stronger now. She deals... That was... Around 800 damage. Okay, I have more than enough spooky wood now to make the full spooky armor. Let's quickly make it. Spooky helmet. Breastplate. Nope, I'm dead. I misclicked. Let's go again. Breastplate. And then leggings. So the set effect is increases summon damage by 25% and each piece gives an additional 11%, so that's 33%. Combine it with the 25% and that would be 58%. So that brings Abigail to 74 summon damage. Oh my god, and our level's at 36. That must be because of the Pumpkin Moon, oh my god. Okay, Pumpkin Moon has finally ended. It's now time to take on the Lunatic Cultist. Here we go. Oh, that was a thousand damage. 
Okay, Abigail has finally reached a thousand. Let's go. Okay, come on. No, she can't target them. Okay, let's kill this guy quick then. Ten thousand more health. Oh god. Hit him, please! Okay, that's all done. There we go. Solar pillar is down. Nebula pillar is done. Vortex pillar has been destroyed. Just one more to go. And the last pillar has been destroyed. Okay. So yeah, Abigail is dealing almost up to 1,500 damage at max. Here we go. Final boss, Moon Lord. Let's try to get Abigail to focus the middle eye. Just so I can get rid of that laser attack. And we're dealing about 3,500 damage per second. That's pretty good. With that middle eye is almost dead. What? That's like 50% health already. This what? This hand too. Okay, heal up. Let's get ready to teleport now. Okay, one more round should do it for that middle eye. Okay, that hand's dead though. Holy! And then that eye's done. One more, come on. Dish it up. Okay, just the core. Okay, 10,000 more health. Come on, let's go. And you're done. Oh! No. Wait, 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 wait. Does that count? Oh, it did. Thank God. I actually thought I choked the very last moment. Now there's just one more thing before the end of this video. I'm going to summon Moonlord one more time to get enough Luminite bars to make the Stardust armor. And then I'll see the maximum potential of Abigail. Alright. That's all done. Now I should have enough materials to make the full Stardust armor. Okay, let's make the Stardust Helmet, Stardust Plate, and the Stardust Leggings. So, as of now, we have 94 summon damage, and after equipping it, 98. But, I think I can level up Abigail a few more times. Yep, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna level up Abigail a few more levels, and then I'll come back to you guys. But, as of now, it is at level 46. Okay, after a solid hour of grinding, Abigail is finally at level 60 with 129 summon damage. So we're going to test her damage on this dummy. 3, 2, 1. Oh my. <laughs> She's dealing 1,700 damage. Oh, I just saw that. 1,800 damage per hit. That is absolutely insane. Alright, that's going to be it everyone. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Comment down below if you have any mods or video ideas you want me to try out. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.